on an April afternoon. Fred and Charlotte had been married for 23 years, filled with violence, so much so that they had divorced once and remarried, but the second marriage looked to be headed toward divorce as well. A little after sundown on July 24, 1981, Charlotte hadn't returned to the house. A few days later, Charlotte's car was found in Terre Haute, Indiana, just 16 miles away. Police searched her vehicle and found no blood or signs of foul play but they did find a loaded handgun beneath the seat. This is Episode 2, Fred Grab. The Grab family was wealthy by small-town standards. They were easily one of the wealthiest families in Marshall, Illinois, a tiny farming town just 10 miles from the Indiana border. Most of their wealth came from the inheritance that Charlotte Grab had acquired from her parents. Both Charlotte and her husband Fred were extremely hard workers. They worked long hours farming their soybean and cornfields, but their life was far from perfect. The couple had two children, Jeff and Jenny, and when there were problems between their parents, the kids usually took Charlotte's side. Fred and Charlotte had been married for 23 years filled with violence, so much so that they had divorced once and remarried, but the second marriage looked to be headed toward divorce as well. Fred was an extremely large man, standing at six foot four, while Charlotte was petite. During their heated arguments, Fred had no problems using his fists on his tiny wife or his son Jeff. Things had gotten so bad that Charlotte had instructed Jeff and Jenny to come looking for her if she wasn't back to the house by the end of the workday. Fred was also a serial philanderer, and at 42 years old, had a fascination with younger women, usually having a few girlfriends on the side at any given time.